DVD Era TV back at y'all with another one. Y'all know the slogan. Today we're going to talk about the beef between Ransom and Joe Buttons that led to Ransom going to jail for a shooting. Now let's get into it. It's like my head on the water, I can't breathe. Not getting on my nerves, told her she could leave, she could leave. These holders, I believe in me. Believe in me. On the real, I got a day with destiny. I'm from the street, sell her pedigree. pedigree. Still killing beats, way past the third degree. Uh -huh. Me and my nigga got a heat, yeah, the whole team. First, 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 first. I was just in the trap selling cocaine. cocaine. I'm a hustler, so I listen, then I watch. If I ain't got it, best believe I'ma go get it. New kicks, new fit, new Stop asking me about niggas that you don't see me with Me and Kismic on the track, that equals death He in the south blowing dink, I'm blowing loud Rest in peace D-Block, I can't breathe Rest in peace to all my G's that I lost in the streets like my I'm the best If you looking at this, you looking at the best right now now, in the mixtape era, the underground hip-hop world was introduced to a group called The A-Team, which included Joe Button, Ransom, and Hitchcock. Now, after Ransom and Hitchcock began to put out freestyles with Joe Button, who was already established in the music industry already, they would eventually catch the ears of Skane, DJ Clue, and Webb and Nitty. Now, as time went on, Joe Button would eventually shy away from Hitch and Ran, and the two, as we remember, would then become a duo. Ransom and Hitch would eventually join DJ Clue's Desert Storm roster and begin doing numerous songs with Fabulous, Paul Kane, Joe Button, and Stack Bundles. Hitch and Ran would get a lot of attention from their catchy freestyles on DJ Clue mixtapes and also putting out their Hard Hood classic mixtape series. By the DVD era, Ransom and Hitch would will go their separate ways, leaving Ransom to still be promoted and backed by DJ Clue. Ransom then would hit the hip-hop DVD scene solo, appearing on numerous True Story and the Come Up DVDs. Now, years later, after Ransom would solo, he would appear on Joe Button Mood Music 3 on a song called Family Reunion featuring Fabulous and Hitchcock, where it seemed like all attention began with Joe Buttons and Ran. Now, supposedly, Ransom didn't know that him and Hitch would be rapping on his song Back to Back, painting a narrative that the A-Team was back together. Now, according to Ransom, he said the whole family reunion song situation was petty to him and his real reason for going at Joe is because Joe did an interview where he was dissing him. Now after Joe Button dissed Ransom in that particular interview, Ransom would go to Vlad TV and do an interview and Ransom goes in on Joe Button and even dissed his girlfriend at the time to Harry. Now Ransom gets in this interview with Vlad TV and he says to Harry smash fab. Now that rumor stems from to Harry being on Fabulous' first album, Ghetto Fabulous. He has a song called Get Smart, and it's a female speaking Spanish in the beginning of the song. Now, this song is about getting through sex, and To Harry speaks in the beginning of this song. Now, it's rumors that To Harry was messing with Fab at the time, so that's where them rumors come from. There is a rumor that you were dating Joe Budden's girlfriend, To Harry. I used to deal with To Harry. Now, Ran and Joe Buttons will go back and forth on wax and also do vlogs getting at each other. But when it comes to the disc records, I was leaning towards Joe Button a little more. I like this disc records better than Ransom. But anyway, get in that comment section and let me know who y'all felt had better disc records, Ransom or Joe Button. Now, things between Ransom and Joe Button started to get a little bit out of hand, and it would be no longer a back and forth on wax and them sending shots at each other in interviews and vlogs on the internet. Now, for some reason, Joe Button thought it would be a good idea to go to Ransom Block and shoot a vlog dissing him. But things would go totally left because when they got there, Ransom was outside. Now, according to Ransom, he says he was chilling on his block and then he spots a group of guys coming towards him. So he sent his homeboy upstairs to get his gun. Now, as the group of guys got closer, Rand says he seen camera lights come on and he spotted Joe Button. So he said he laughed to himself and walked over. Words was exchanged with him and one of Joe's homeboys. And his homeboy tried to attack Ram, which led to somewhat a physical altercation. Now, according to Ransom, one of Joe's homeboys reached like he had a gun. So Ransom began to fire a few shots at him. But Joe Buttons remember the whole situation totally different. According to Joe Button, he says they came to Ransom block, ended up beating him up. He ran upstairs to go get his gun. And when he came back outside, he shot shots in the air. Dump him out real quick. He run upstairs, come back down, 
Start shooting in the sky. Now, Ransom felt at the time that Joe Button shouldn't have been speaking on the shooting because when the shooting actually happened, Joe Button had already ran and got up out of there. And also, Ransom didn't agree with the fact that Joe Buttons went on the internet and spoke about him shooting, whether he was shooting in the air or shooting anything. He felt like he was snitching. How y'all say that on the internet? When I bang, that's some snitch. Like, you don't do that. Now, after this situation, Ransom and his guys are actually go to the house of one of the guys that came to his block with Joe Button. Now, Ransom and his guys went to his house because they wanted him to get on video and clear the air on what actually happened the night that they came to Ransom block. But that homeboy of Joe Button wasn't home and his brother actually answered the door. Now, his brother came to the door. They was explaining what happened and they wanted him to even call him. But he was like, yo, he's not here. And he didn't call him. And Ransom people got kind of frustrated and one of ransom guys actually slapped him now you probably seen this slap on vlad tv it definitely was going viral at the time now about a week later after ransom did the shooting the cops had come to his house for it and when they came inside and searched the house they actually found drugs and he was charged with that as well and spent nearly two years in jail now being that ransom and joe button somewhat had a good relationship before all of this happened when Ransom came home, they was able to put aside their differences because this is a situation that definitely could have went all the way left and it could have got real ugly. But anyway, if you're a fan of these old hip hop stories, tell a friend to tell a friend about my page. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. More content coming, and I'm out. One. <laughs>